I'm about to share one of the worst experiences I've ever gone through in my life. And there's many. In 2018, I found out I was pregnant and it wasn't planned, it was an accident. And while I was nervous, I was also really excited because I thought that this would save the relationship with the narcissist. I foolishly thought a baby would save us. And I went to my first ultrasound appointment. And I remember the technician leaving the room quietly without saying anything. And when someone came back to the room, it was the doctor. The doctor told me I had an atopic pregnancy and I needed to go to the emergency room right away. So the narcissist drove me to the hospital and then they left me there alone because they had too much work to do. I was absolutely devastated that they left me alone to deal with that. They left me alone to lose our baby. And that should have been the first moment where I realized this person didn't love me, like really didn't love me. I had the procedure and I lost the baby and I was a sobbing mess. I was like screaming in the hospital to the point that hospital staff was looking at me like I was crazy. And I wasn't only sobbing and mourning the loss of my unborn child. I was sobbing because I felt so desperately alone and so unloved. Before I left the hospital, I was given clear instructions that I was not to have unprotected relations because doing so could be a matter of life or death. So I bought some protection. And after being with the narcissist, I soon realized that he had done something. He stealthfully removed the protection without my consent. Not only was this a violation of my physical boundary, this was a violation of my medical health and well-being. I was terrified. So terrified that the next day I called the doctor to let them know what had happened. The doctor wanted me to go see her right away. And I remember sitting in the room talking with her about what had happened. And she looked at me and said, I don't understand what's going on here. You seem like a really intelligent woman. You were given clear instructions, so why weren't they followed? This could be extremely dangerous and put your life at risk. Do you understand this? She told me that something wasn't right here and that something else was going on. That if a person did that to me, that they don't love me. Even a doctor recognized that I was being abused and that this person didn't love me. And my reaction to her was offense. How dare she tell me that the person I thought loved me didn't love me. She didn't know me. And I never saw that doctor again. Thankfully, everything was okay and physically I was well. But now looking back, that doctor was absolutely right. This person loved me so little they were willing to put my life at risk. This person loved me so little that they didn't even care or mourn the loss when we lost our child. So when we talk about psychological and emotional abuse, this is what it looks like. Some narcissists are completely inhumane.